So every day of your life, you need to wake up saying, Father, more grace. Father, more grace. Father, more grace. Father, more grace. Over my children, more grace. Over my family, more grace. Over my business, more grace. Over my endeavors, more grace. Over my ministry, more grace.
Father, in the name of Jesus the Christ. Barasco Pahi Bractasini and the Cariska Paya and Dadianos Masco Prectosira Dish Caparande Kebaida Rosa Holy Ghost, I activate the ministry of angels now by the hand of the presbytery upon me rent thou the heavens now in the name of Jesus just as Stephen saw the glory let men see your glory now Holy Ghost this is your arena Holy Ghost, this is your arena. My Father, this is your arena. Holy Ghost, to walk in this place. Holy Ghost, to walk in this place. Holy Ghost, to walk in this place. Let resurrection power eat this assembly. Let resurrection power eat this assembly. In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. In the name of God the Holy Ghost. Amen. Take the chorus again. Hallelujah. And we join the angels that say, You can lift up your hands and worship his majesty. The angels they bow down in the center. Hallelujah. To the one who was and is to come again. Hallelujah. excited to be in God's presence. Is anybody blessed over here? Yes, sir. This was a song written by us, myself and Brad Gaga. In the place of prayer, God gave us that song. And I know that after today's sermon, your life will never remain the same in the name of Jesus. Amen. What has never been recorded in your life today, God will turn situations around for your sake in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you ready to be blessed? Yes. Are you ready for God's word? Yes. From glory to glory. That's my story. As your story changed yes. from glory to glory. That is my story. From glory to glory. That's, That's where I'm going, going to. From glory to glory. That's my name. Is anybody still here? Yes. So I'll be preaching to us this morning very quickly before we go to the table of the Lord. And the title of this sermon is It's Friday. Sunday is coming. Hallelujah. Let me preach to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, it's Friday. Neighbor, it's Friday. Sunday is coming. Sunday is coming. I know some of you will say, Pastor, but we're already in Sunday. Don't worry, you're about to find out. Let me preach to your neighbor again. Say, neighbor, neighbor, it's Friday. It's Friday. Sunday is coming. Sunday is coming. Mark chapter 15, verse 42, the New Living Translation. I will need to run very fast. Let's read together like a mass choir. One, two, go. This all happened when? On Friday. On Friday. The day of what? Preparation. Of preparation. The day before the Sabbath, as evening approached, meaning that everything that happened to Jesus.
basically started what on Friday some events on Thursday but the major events of his life took place from Friday and the Bible went on to tell us so many things until we got to the point on Sunday which was the first day of the week and the Bible says what he arose but there are many things that transpired within those three days on Friday when the king of glory was crucified Satan particularly thought he had gotten the best of Jesus. Is anybody still here? Oh, yes. yes sir. It was a day of pain. It was a day of anguish. It was a day of temporary joy for Satan. Though he thought it was going to be victory forever. But my Bible tells me in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 8. That which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it. They would not have done what? Crucified the Lord of glory. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 55 says. Oh death where is thy sting oh grave where is thy victory meaning all the experiences of Jesus was just a Friday experience the devil never saw Sunday coming I decree over your life that everything the devil is doing in your life your Sunday morning has come your resurrection Sunday has come your Resurrection Sunday has come. Amen. You don't serve a dead God. Yes. You serve a mighty God. Amen. It's the same today. Yes. It's the same yesterday. Yes. And it's the same forever. Hallelujah. You shout amen somebody. Amen. On Friday, on Friday, Peter denied his Lord. Is anybody still here? Yes. Yes, Peter had just cut off Malchus here. The one that was the servant of the chief priest. Can you remember? When they wanted to arrest Jesus, Peter was proving that he was committed. He was proving that he was dedicated. The Bible says what? He took out his sword and he took off the ears of one of the servants. And Jesus said, no, 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 Peter. And Jesus healed that one back. And Jesus said, Peter, if I want to escape, I can command 12 legions of angels. Child of God, it's only Friday. But today, that is Sunday, I came to command legions of angels and I decree anyone that is ganging up against your life today they get slaughtered they get slaughtered by fire they get slaughtered by fire in the name of Jesus is anybody still here oh yes do you know you could be experiencing what Jesus experienced in the case of Peter there are people that have told you that we are dedicated. We are committed to your life. Your spouse even told you in front of God and in front of men that till death do us part. But now your life is looking like the man has denied you. Child of God, relax. You are not the only one in that shoe. Jesus was only also there. Yeah. It is just only Friday. Yes. Sunday is what? Yeah. He's coming. Hallelujah. Are you still here somebody? Yes sir. There are friends that have turned their backs against you. There are pastors that have turned their backs against you. There are brothers that have turned their backs against you. When you needed them the most, they were not there. Child of God, no need to get angry or frustrated. Relax. Just know that what? It's only a Friday experience. Yes. That your Sunday is what? It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Have you read the story of Judas in the Bible? This was a Friday experience. The Bible says that what? He betrayed his Lord with a kiss for how many pieces of silver? 30 pieces of silver. Have you studied your scripture well? If you want to understand the life of Jesus, if you read Matthew alone, you won't understand it. If you read Luke alone, you won't understand it. Or Mark, you need to read the synoptic gospel and the Johannine gospel for you to understand it. The Bible says of Judas, he was the one that went to do what? To approach the chief priest. That if I give this Jesus to you, what will you give me in return? Are you still here? Oh, yes, sir. Luke chapter 22, verse 3 now explains what happened to Judas. Can I explain to you that Judas did not do what he did because of money? No, sir. 
You would have read your Bible to think that because he loved money. No, sir. Yes, he loved money. But the Bible had already told us in John chapter 12 verse 6. That's what? He was a thief. So meaning that he had made money from stealing. So 30 pieces of silver was not the reason. Are you still here? Oh, yes. So he had stolen enough money. He had money. No, but the answer is in Luke chapter 22 verse 3. The Bible says, Then Satan entered into Judas. Son named what? Iscariot. Being of the number of the twelve. So child of God, there are people that have Satan has entered into their life to torment you. But don't worry. It's only a Friday experience. Yes, yes. On Sunday when you resurrect, where will be the Judas? Is anybody still here? Yes. yes. When Jesus resurrected, where was Judas? So it was just only what? A Friday experience. If you've read your Bible, if it was for money, the Bible will not record that he went what? To return the 30 pieces of silver. He would have kept the money. But there was an hatred that was in his heart. There was a demonism that had entered into him. Can I tell you, child of God, today brothers are demonized. Today's pastors are demonized. Today workers are demonized. It does not matter who comes against you. It's only what? A Friday experience. Sunday is what? Is, is anybody still here? Yes. yes Before Pontius Pilate, if you read your Bible in Luke chapter 23, verse 1 to 3, the chief priests, the scribes, the Sadducees, and Pharisees were all this demonic gang up that were concocting all manner of lies against Jesus. They said, one, he was perverting our nation. Have you read anywhere in your Bible that your Jesus was perverting the nation that he went through? The next one they said, forbidding to give tribute to Caesar. And if you read your Bible very well, the Bible says there came a time they came to tempt him. Yes, sir. Yes. And they asked him that should they pay taxes? And he asked them, go to the fish. Let me introduce ATM to you. Go there. Go to the river. Oh, yes. Yes. oh you thought you thought of his first? No, you got it from Jesus. Even Jesus said, follow me. So Twitter came late. Uh, <laughs> glory. Hallelujah. And they picked a coin from the mouth of the fish. And he said, whose image is on it? And they said, what? Caesar. And he said unto them, what? Give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. And give unto God what is what? God. Oh. Because he had discerned their heart. So when they said he was preventing people from giving to Caesar, they were only telling lies. Child of God, human beings are full of lies, full of half-truth, full of untrue statements. But please don't be tired. Don't give up. If they have lied against you, they have lied against Jesus before. So you are too small to think they won't lie against you. If they have lied against the king of glory, men will lie against you. But don't worry, it's only what? Friday! Sunday is coming. Oh, yes. Is anybody still here? Yes, sir. Child of God, are you aware that there were people in the Bible called the Sadducees? Are you aware? Have you heard that name before? The Sadducees? Yes. yes. These were people that were too sad to see. <laughs> too sad to what? To see. To see. Can I tell you that every child of God has what Sadducees in his life? There are people that there is nothing God is doing in your life. They have an explanation for it. You do a business is witchcraft. You do, you get married. They say it's seduction. You, God blesses you with gifts and talents. They say you are consulting a medium. Do you know some people have started wishing evil on themselves just because of the kind of things people feel for them. So they want to be humble. And they say, no God, even this thing is getting too much. This grace and glory. No, sir. The Sadducees will die sad. Ah, Hallelujah. <laughs> are you still here? Yes, yes. sir. Of course, you know the way me I preach. I will not be telling you and uh, God change their heart. They should go and meet God to change it. I've given them a prayer point. They should go and meet God to do what? Change to change it. Is anybody still here? Oh, yes. The Sadducee said that they do not believe in the resurrection. These were demonic people. 
how could they have said they don't believe in the resurrection the sadducees were not idiots they were people that had studied the scripture they were people that knew the law they were people that had understanding of what was happening and they must have read in their bible in first corinthians 17 verse 17 to 24 where elijah raised the son of the widow of zarephath they must have read in second kings chapter 4 verse 32 to 37 where elisha raised the son of the woman in shunem so they knew there was a resurrection only that they wanted to deny the most important thing in the life of christ so there are people that are looking as though they don't know what god it's a lie they know but they want to frustrate you out of what god has done but child of god can i tell you it's only what it's only friday your sunday is what it's coming after the sadducees did not believe in resurrection did that keep jesus in the grave i decree all the wish of your enemy against your life i multiply it on their life i multiply it on their life I multiply it on their life Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do you know some are Pharisees? They are too far to see. <laughs> Please, sir, child of God, don't be mistaken that everybody in church is with God. Don't be mistaken. Don't also think that everybody that you meet is spiritual. There are people that have titles. There are people that have long robes. These were the attire of the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the scribe and the chief priest. But they did not know anything like God. Because how can you tell me that the chief priest, what do we call him? Chief priest of the land was the one that was trying to crucify what? The king of glory. But do you know that there are people in your life that no matter what you do, they cannot see the glory of God in your life. Mm. No matter, because they are the ones far from God. And the prophet Eli fell into this error. When Anna came and was crying before God, he looked at her. A man that the Bible says was 98 years old. You will be quick to tell me that the Bible says his eye was dim. It was not just his physical eye that was dim. It was what? His spiritual eye. So growing old it is not the same thing as growing cold is anybody still here yes. and he said to the woman how can you be drunk at this time this was a man that had become a pharisee he was too far from god to be able to see what god was doing and the woman was the one that needed to explain to him what god was doing in his domain is anybody still here yes. Yes, child of god don't let anybody stop your faith talk if you operate like Jesus, then keep saying what you are saying. The Bible tells me that Jesus said to them that what? Destroy this temple. And in three days, I will do what? I will raise it up. And they were so angry. They said, how dare you say what our fathers built in 46 years? That you are telling me there's a technology that can make you destroy it and do it in three days? This boy, you are too arrogant. It, but they didn't know that there was a technology of faith. Yes. That can compress any number of years into three days. Awesome. Jesus met the woman with the issue of blood. He compressed 12 years into now. He met the one at Bethesda. 38 years. He compressed it. I came to prophesy over your life. Anything that has withstood your life. By faith, I compress them to disappear. I compress them to disappear. By the authority of heaven, let them disappear now. Are you still here? Let me preach to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, it's only Friday. Neighbor, it's only Friday. Sunday is coming. Sunday is coming. But do you know that destroy this temple in three days that Jesus said? He got to a time when he's resurrected. And the people said, he has risen just as he said. So what does he tell me, child of God? Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. So mightily grew the word of God and it's what? It prevailed. The more you talk, the more angelic presence you are activating. Child of God, your destiny is connected to your mouth. Keep saying it. Keep saying it. Keep declaring it. One day, angels.
angels will bring it to pass. Yes. Is anybody here? Oh, yes, yes, sir. Remember how he said while he was yet in Galilee that he was he will arise on the third day. Their hatred, their, their anger was not strong enough to keep him to the grave. I decree over your life, the I decree Jesus. judgment, the irrevocable the judgment the upon the everyone that has said you will not rise. I, by the calling of God upon my life, I, by the mantle of a prophetic fire, I decree anyone that has said you will not rise, today we bury them. We bury them. You don't serve a dead God. You serve what? Almighty God. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and for. Will you shout amen, somebody? Is anybody still here? Yes. It's only what? Friday. Friday. Sunday is what? It's coming. If you read Matthew chapter 27 verse 46. My Bible tells me. And at about nine, the ninth hour. Jesus, ninth hour being 3 p.m. Jesus cried with a loud voice saying. Eli, Eli. Lama sabachthani. That is to say. My God. My God. Why has thou what? Forsaken me. Child of God. There are seasons of your life that you get to and you shout like Jesus Eli Eli Lama Sabatani pastors have forgotten me family has forgotten me friends have forgotten me but my Bible tells me if father and mother should forsake me then will my God do what? he will pick me up the day my God is picking me up is Sunday my Sunday morning is here my Sunday morning is here my Sunday morning is here in the name of Jesus shout of God that they are forsaking you is not the problem it's only a Friday experience Sunday is what God. please let me preach to your neighbor pastors preach to your fellow pastors say pastor is Friday pastor is Friday Sunday, Sunday is, is coming is anybody still here yes sir John chapter 19 verse 30 when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar he said what it is finished and he bowed his head and did what and gave up the gold child of god do you know sometimes you come into a friday experience like jesus when life has nailed you to the cross when life has taken things from you the bible says that gets him in it. he prayed and the sweat that came out of his body was like what was like blood. how does a man travel in prayer till he gets to the point that men are seeing blood instead of sweat but at the end of all the prayer he still said what it is finished so child of god that you have prayed and it's not looking like it's working it's not the problem it's only a friday experience sunday is what sunday is coming so you might have said it is finished for you you might have said it is finished for your career even your family members your pastor might have said it is finished for you but i came to announce to you that your sunday morning it starts now your Sunday morning, it starts now. Your Sunday morning, it starts now. In the name of Jesus. Is anybody still here? Yes, And it got to the resurrection. We are introducing the Sunday now. It was only what? Friday. But now we've gotten where? Sunday. To Sunday. And the Bible says in Matthew chapter 8, 28 verse 1, the New Living Translation. It says, early on sunday morning somebody read it early on sunday morning. which day's morning sunday morning which day's morning sunday morning, which day's morning? Sunday morning. as the what new day, day was dawning i command in the name in of the jesus name of the christ that today a new dawn has come for you a new dawn has come for your career a new dawn has come for your business a new dawn has come for your destiny. Amen. A new dawn has come for your children. Amen. In the name of Jesus. It was already Sunday and heaven was ready to activate all the prophecies mm. concerning the resurrection of the Christ. It was Sunday morning. Now the Bible says, if you read further, 
that there was a great what? Earthquake. Please give me Matthew chapter 28. Let us read it. Suddenly what? There, there was, was a great earthquake. Church come alive. Suddenly. There was a great earthquake. Suddenly there was what? A great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord came, came down from where? From heaven. from heaven. And did what? Rolled aside the stone. And did what? Sat on it to supervise it. Child of God, angels are watching you. Hallelujah. You are not alone. Yes. That's why the Bible says, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil. I'm heavily surrounded. I'm heavily guided. I'm heavily defended. I'm heavily protected. It does not matter the opposition against me. I am too defender to go down. Would you shout amen somebody? Amen. And the Bible says there was great earthquake. Sometimes for you to resurrect and experience the joy of resurrection, God needs to thunder from heaven over your adversaries. Yes, Sometimes you have resurrected, but some demons have still kept the stone there. Mm. So what God needs to do is to do what? To send what? Earthquake to trump to trouble them to make them tremble and leave that place. Is anybody still here? Yes. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 30, the new living translation. Let me tell you about the earthquake of God. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 30, new living translation. And the Lord will do what? Make his majestic voice and he will display what the strength of what his mighty arm it will descend with what devouring flames with cloud burst thunderstorm and huge what hailstorm i decree this will god do to your enemies this will god do to your adversaries this will god do to those that hate you in the name of jesus Amen. the bible says and the lord will make his majestic voice and i decree that the voice of his majesty enters your life Amen. the voice of his majesty enters your career Amen. it enters into your ministry Amen. it enters into your health Amen. now be healed now Amen. be healed now Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 10. I'm almost done. We'll tear up this place in prayer and we go home blessed. First Samuel chapter 2 verse 10. Do I have it there? Can we read together? Like a mass choir. I want to go. The adversaries of the Lord shall what? Shall be, shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall he what? Thunder upon them. The Lord shall judge the ends of the earth. And he shall give strength unto his king. And exalt the arm of what? Of his anointed. So we know the, how the enemies of God will end. But how will the enemies of your own life end? So we need to read it again. That the adversaries of Olubu Sayo for learning shall be what? Broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall God thunder upon them. I decree, let the thundering of heaven answer over your life to destroy your enemies. And the Bible said, For an angel of the Lord did what? Descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and did what? Sat on it. Child of God, anyone that would experience in the resurrection power of God must what? Understand the ministry of angels. Say to your neighbor the ministry of angels. The ministry of angels. No, your voice is not coming up. Come up well. Ministry of angels. Ministry of angels. They are types of angels in the realm of the spirit. Two clear ones, the Bible tells us. The cherubims and what? The seraphims. The Bible talks of the cherubims. These are the ones with four wings. One of ox, eagle, man, and lion. And you know, every time an angel appears, what God says first is what? Fear not. Because even their appearance is what? Is fearful. 
And this was the kind of angel that God put where on the east of the garden of Eden and did what? Set a flaming sword to do what? To defend the garden. Are you still here? Oh, yes. Yes, and the seraphims are the ones that you hear once in scriptures. And what they have, what? Six wings, what? Making obeisance, worship to God. As we were singing hallelujah here, yeah, now seraphims were the one in charge. Hallelujah. Is anybody still here? Yes, sir. Oh, your voice. Come up, come up, come up, come up. Can I read a scripture to you? Oh, yes. Psalm 103, verse 20. Psalm 103, verse 20. Can we read together one to God? Bless the Hello. Lord. Ye is angel that do what? That excel in what? In strength. That do what? His commandment. Acting unto the voice of what? Of his word. That was why the angel could take away the stone. Because they do what? They excel in what? In strength. Now let me tell you. This strength the Bible was talking about is not his schools. It's not the physical human strength. That is what is called co-ark. What is that? Is what the angelic strength the one that brings the weight of divinity into the affairs of a man oh. that is what we are telling you to understand Koak, what the angelic strength have you not read your bible that one angel was deployed and more than 120,000 people were slain overnight one angel and jesus said i can command 12 legions oh. yes sir <laughs> child of God is your understanding of the ministry of angels coming alive ah, yes, yes, so yes, when yes, your yes. father commands to a religion and you tell me they shot at you to touch you God forbid that devil ah. one of them must block it I'm challenging your faith I'm challenging what your faith though I walk through what there are legions legions of them legions of them is anybody still here? Oh, yes. yes, sir. The Bible says in Luke chapter 22, verse 43, and there appeared an angel unto him from heaven to do what? Strengthening what? Him. Angels are for strength. If you will come out in resurrection, you need the angels of God to descend. Mm. Some of you have resurrected, but you still did not escape the grave because angelic presence was meeting, missing. An angelic presence is activated by what? The Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit with the Father will send what? In my name. So every time we call the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost is activated. The Holy Ghost now does what? Activates legions of angels. There are angels in this place. Yes. Yes. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14. The Bible says, are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be what? Heads of, Heads of what? Of self Meaning that they were already prepared before I came. Mm. Because my Bible tells me that what? In sin did my mother conceive me. So when I came to meet the Lord, they didn't just make my angel. My angels were already waiting for me to come and give them instruction. Yes. Child of God, some of you, your angels have slept off and they are snoring now. No work. No work. They, they, are, they, are, not, they are not doing anything. Just there, nothing. Since the day you've given to your, your life to Christ, you are trusting in one hamlet, one charm, one nonsense that you are the one protecting. Child of God, when will your angels be busy? Some of us have decided that our angels will know no rest till we meet. And when they see me, they will say, boy, you sabi walk. Oh. <laughs> you do what you sabi walk. Because sometimes we just sit down and we look. I send the angels of God ahead. So when we come, it's easy. Because what? The angels have gone ahead. Child of God, in 30 seconds, pray in the Holy Ghost. Activate angelic ministry. Let the glory come. 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 Let 
In Jesus' name you are praying. Amen. And the Bible said that they went to the tomb and what? He had what? Risen. For he was no longer what? There. Do you know there are people that expect you to still be where you were five years ago? There are people that felt that because they've walked out of your life, that your life, God has pressed pause on it. Mm. There are people that feel that if they have not supported you, then heaven has not supported you. I came to prophesy, it's your Sunday morning. Yeah. They will look at you and not find you where you used to Amen. be. They will look for you where you used to be, but you have already overtaken them. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They went to the tomb to look for who? Jesus. But the angel told them he was where in Galilee he had overtaken them. Receive grace to overtake your adversary. 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 In the name of Jesus. Jesus. You will say, My father, my father, my father. It's my Sunday morning. I come into my Sunday morning. I come into my Sunday morning. Let resurrection power walk in my life. Somebody fire prayer now. Satan, Satan. I walk into my Sunday morning. It's my Sunday morning, oh God. It's my Sunday morning. It's my Sunday morning. I've left the Friday. I'm now on Sunday. I've left Friday. I'm now in Sunday. I have left Friday. I'm now in Sunday. I've left the pain. I've left the retrogression. I've left the denials. I've left the hatred. I'm now in my Sunday. I am now in my Sunday. I am now in my Sunday. It was finished for me. Now I'm alive. It was finished for me. Now I'm alive. For in Jesus' victorious name we are praying. My Bible tells me that if the Spirit of him that raised Jesus Christ up from the dead. He believes in you. My God, he lives in me. He believes in you. He will quicken and vitalize your mortal body. He will be giving you his strength. Somebody say he lives in me. He lives in me. We are doing hallelujah now. He lives in me. Say it. He lives in me. The Holy Ghost lives here. Jesus lives here. The Holy Ghost lives here. Keep praying. The Holy Ghost lives here. Jesus lives here. The Holy Ghost lives here. Jesus lives here. Sickness out of my body. Sickness out of my body. Sickness out of my body. Pain out of my body. Cancer out of my body. Cancer out of my body. I command you to die now. Shatosia, preska paraskuta ibarande, likatema subrakana roshia. Hallelujah! Yana makon sabra da katiza roshta bala. Keep praying in the Holy Ghost. We are activating angelic presence for your answer. Manaka by Adabakosata, Leroski Bractanesia, Lerasta Man de Coparasatia. Hold on, sir, hold on, sir. Child of God, if the doctors have told you you will live with it forever, say no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Ah, can I say that? We are going to challenge that demon now. Yes, yes, yes. Kaparos kabra de sete They told you you will live with it forever. No, sir. Who am I talking to? It's not possible. The risen Christ was the glorified Christ. The risen Christ was the Christ with the celestial bodies. Child of God, I came to prophesy by the mandate of heaven. 
I came to declare as the priest of the Almighty. Anything they have said you will live with for the rest of your life. As you walk out of this auditorium, they vanish. Stretch for your hand, everybody. Stretch for your hand. Holy Ghost, Shanabakosia. Nessa to Britannia, Raskata. Leka Bayana Makosha, Rasatila. Lepo Sipret of Nisu, Siana Bayana Bayan. Holy Ghost, drop fire on these hands now. Holy Ghost, drop fire on these hands now. Holy Ghost, drop fire on these hands now. Drop fire on these hands now. Let fire rest on these hands now. Okay, lay that hand on your body. Yeah, you don't want that thing again. Lay that hand there. Lay that hand there. Lay that hand there. Yeah, you don't want that thing again. Lay that hand there. That ear. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That ear. Begin to hear clearly now. That ear that is losing reception. I command you, open now. Kaposki pa irasko bayanda, Holy Ghost. Masko prate nizi anda bakosi. Child of God, have you not used glasses for a long time? Remove your glasses. Challenge the power of God. Remove your glasses. If you are wearing, oh, hold on. If you are wearing glasses now, were you born with it? I said, if you are wearing glasses, help me tap down on me. Remove the glasses. Remove your. This is how we are in church and we lose the blessing. Were you born with the glasses? Sir, remove your glasses. Remove your air. Go, Juni. Church, if I'm alone, go, Suni. I'm not sure you're next year, go, Suni. If you have been using glasses, put your right hand on your eyes. Your right hand. Sir, to him that believes, all things are what? Yes, yes, yes. Let the fire of God enter into these eyes now. Eyes be clear now. Eyes be healed now. In the name of Jesus the Christ. From today, see clearly. From today, see clearly. From now, let the blood vision disappear now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Put your faith to work now. Test your eyes. Light descending from Just pray in the Holy Ghost. When you show up, Magna Cosa Bayada. You dwell in unapproachable light. In Sunday morning, you don't go back to the grave. Roar for me, Lion of Judah. the Lord child of God this is not a ritual is not what you do just for doing sake there is power in the blood of Jesus 
Okay, very soon we'll take a series on the blood. There is power where? In the blood of in the blood of and there is power in the body of the risen Christ. This is not in memorial of the dead Christ alone, is the risen, the glorified Christ. That he may bring many sons towards the glory. Child of God, your faith is what can draw from the Spirit of God. If you come here with the mindset of let me just take a child of God, you will come, nothing will happen. But if you come with faith in your uh, God responds to faith. The doctors have said, these apalists have said, they've spoken against you. Child of God, it's time to fortify yourself in the spirit. Oh, yes. Anything that could not resist the blood of Jesus cannot resist what is coming on you. Anything that could not withstand the body of Christ cannot withstand what is coming into you. Even in the Old Testament, which was a shadow of things to come, the Bible said to them that you will put the blood of animals where? On the lintel. And when angel of death was coming, it could respect the blood of lamb. How much more the perfect sacrifice of Christ, which he shed his blood seven times for you on the way to Calvary, Golgotha. Is anybody expect that? In 30 seconds, lift your two hands to the heavens and begin to ask God for what you want to see now. Ask for what you want to see now. And if you are not saved, that is the first thing you want to see, salvation. Come and be empowered by the Lord. The Bible says, let him that had no money, let him come and buy. They are these things are not so they are for free they are for the empowerment of the saints the bible was talking of elijah he took this meal from ravens and he could go on a journey 40 days how much more the real thing that came from us for us Kapora si brada shatamanda. Irane shalabana manisa. Ane me salo sayi. Amen. The Bible says in the evening, they gathered and Jesus Christ was there. And the Spirit of the Lord was present to heal. And they all went back rejoicing because they were healed. Is there no more oil in Gilead, says the scriptures? Why are my people not healed? Therefore, as we gather this morning, partaking of the body of Jesus Christ, that the spirit of the Lord that removed the sorrows and sadness and weeping of Friday. At the resurrection, everything was over. Jesus Christ resurrected. So also, by the taking of this bread and the wine and by this anointing symbolizing the body and the blood of Jesus Christ, every sorrow will be removed. Yeah. Every sickness will be removed. Yeah. And there will be strength to continue. Yeah. Everybody will take the bread, the wine, and be anointed for greater heights. Yeah. As many as are weak, they will receive strength. Yeah. As many as are tired, they will be encouraged. As many as are thinking evil, God will change their hearts. Those who have strong hearts will be given their hearts of flesh. And from now on, strength to do exploits will come in. And I lift up this anointing oil. It's no more ordinary oil. The power of God enters into it. 
to cause transformation, to heal the sick, to open the womb of the body, and also to open heavens for blessings in the name of God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Glory to Jesus. So we'll be coming to the table of the Lord. Firstly, the ministers will come forward, but this is how we do it. While the atmosphere is being charged by the we presence of God, Hallelujah. we come from the back after the ministers. You take the body of the Lord, you take the flesh of the Lord and the blood of the Lord, and after that you touch the oil last. Communion. Take it, touch the oil last and go. Please drop the cup before leaving. You understand what I'm saying? Then when you get back to your seat, please just keep praying. Just keep what? Keep praying. Okay, I'll tell you when we are ready. Okay. You will sing hallelujah. This is a time to be praying. This is a time to be praying. You are not in the Lord's restaurant. You are before the throne of his majesty. 
so you should be in the place of prayer asking God what you want to see what you want to see is it not an error for we to call it a glory convention and you go back and nothing is on your life nothing no you just wasted three days bodily pain how can you leave this convention and go back no glory demons are not scared of you people see you they see the former you or the worse you why it's time to travel in the place of prayer Judah, rough for me, rough for me, 
It's my Sunday morning. It's my Sunday morning. It's my Sunday morning. It's my Sunday morning. The walls of Jericho, they've got to go. The walls of Jericho, they've got to go. The walls of Jericho, they've got to go. It's time to go now. It's time to go. Mako Bayata Barada Gabaya. Latusta Bayada Manakisa Tila Rustava. Rate Kosite Leva Yada Manda Kabaya. Sefuskava. Litro Tunisia. Leke Pariete Melekaya Dava Rata Kosa Hida Ya. Le Supre Tenosia. Rasa Payandama. Leke Payako Parasa. Nisa Tosa Teka Tibara. Leka Yada Manda Bara. Leposa. Retisco Tisaya. Matekosa. Repotina. Reketesia, le posta, le papata, retecusia, le posa, le payanda manacata. Lion of Judah, Rafa, La Dova Rasta Paya, La Namacata Bayana, Bacosia. Himself is here. The lion that has prevailed is here. We are in the era of his power. We are in the days of his glory. We are in the days of his glory. We are in the days of his power. Kaparosha de Kabarasa Tamanagadabaya. Forever champion You defeated death forever I shall not die But I will live to declare your glory hey, hey. Because when you died I died with you And when you rose I rose with you the one that he 
voice from God. I decree that every stone that has caged your destiny to the grave, the angel of God sits on it and it dissolves by fire. This week, rise from the grave. Any coven that you were buried, let the coven catch fire now. I decree march forward now. As Christ has risen, rise from the dead now. Arise and Christ shall be your light. This week, receive light. Receive empowerment. Receive grace. Receive strength. Receive glory. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. And in the name of God the Holy Ghost. It's Friday. Sunday is here. It's Friday. Sunday is here. Ayada, bada, 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 bada. Yeah, I go.